Okay. Let's go with y'all young boys. Hope y'all feeling good because I'm feeling good. Sick, I'm feeling great. So I hope y'all feeling great. So as y'all can see, man, we on the vlog, man. We on the vlog getting to it. Got a camera now. So y'all probably already noticed the quality a little different off oh, rip. You feel what I'm saying? With me having the camera. Um, the, the sound, sound probably, probably different, different, all that shit. So right now, I'm really just kind of just testing it out, you know, kind of giving it a feel, seeing how I like it, you know. Um, reasons why I got a camera was number one, I have no storage on my phone, um, like literally none. I am getting a new phone, but um, this gets into the second reason why, you know, not only me not having no storage, but number two, I wanted a camera because when I start capturing content of me doing Zoom calls, uh, me, you know, talking to the squad like on Zooms and just doing a lot of webinars, like I do a lot of webinars, stuff like that, I want to be able to say that I captured it, you know, I captured that information and I, and I can record that for myself and doing that for my phone, like I said, the storage be adding up and a camera just kind of makes things a lot more simpler and easier. Um, and number three, uh, just getting more quality things, you know, quality photos, quality videos, everything like that. That's kind of like, you know, my focus of what I want to do. So that was another big reason why. Um, so right now, like, I just want to kind of just test, test the audio. audio. That's the number one thing I would say, like, like testing, testing the audio for real, for real. Um, number two, testing the video, making sure this shit is quality for y'all. Like, I'm going to be adding different things. Of course, you could throw in, like, different lenses. You could throw in different... Um, like little like screens and everything like that uh for those of y'all that don't know that's new and probably do want to get a camera one day um and just things like that and just uh i still need to get like a tripod too like I i'm really just holding this bitch on my hand um <laughs> but this shit cool but i really need a tripod for real for real i'm about to get that as well so we still like a rookie but you feel what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying we 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 uh making progress and i'd rather y'all watch the growth and watch what I do um, as I do it. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all can see that it's possible for y'all too. So peace to the guys, man. Peace to everybody watching this. Peace to the goddesses. You know, I wanted to really come on here to, you know, kind of just update y'all on what's going on with me. You know, now I got time to talk. Now I got time to express myself. I don't know how much I'm going to be editing this. I probably will edit it, honestly. But right now, I'm actually at a little park. You know, this shit by my crib. You know what I'm saying? Getting the vibes. It's a cold day, but you know, it's still January, it's still cold, but the sun is finally out. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? We got some sun finally out and everything like that. So I want to enjoy the weather. Give me some sun, give me some downloads. Talk to my sun god, right? So, man, here's what I've kind of been coming across. And as we, we're going to talk as I'm above the water and everything like that. You feel what I'm saying? But here's what I've been coming across for my life as of re recently. I've been doing a lot of studying. And wherever I'm doing my studying in ancient, ancient times, ancient Egypt, like understanding life before... Um, Religion being thrown in your face, you know what I'm saying? Christianity could be a thrown in your face. Like really just understanding that life before a lot of these things. And what, what it has done for me was understand that a lot of the things that we think is like the new way of living, the new way of life, crystals, meditation, being one with the universe, being one with nature. This is what our ancestors truly was doing. Like this ain't really new information. This is old stuff that we just detached from. You feel what I'm saying? So being that these are old concepts that we just detach from because we've been separated from our knowledge and separated from our history i'm really learning this so that i can learn the past so i can really understand the future because you can't really know the future and what the future holds if you don't understand the past write that down write that down you, you know i, I want to learn how everything got manipulated i want to know how we've been programmed not on just like a small scale with technology nowadays but i want to understand it on a spiritual scale you know learning about the spiritual societies you know secret societies and um how they used our information for bad rather than for good you know because all information has power 
um, especially the information of this universe, you know, the information of the gods. So when you learn this type of thing, you know, for me, when I'm learning these type of things, I'm seeing how, okay, this power can be used for greatness, to manifest love, to manifest beauty, to manifest abundance. But it also can be used for negativity, you know, to, to create, you know, shit, a lot of the things that we're seeing today, manipulation, um, false programming, you feel what I'm saying? Like little shit like that. So my main thing is just kind of like getting in tune with the true history so I can really recite it. You know, I'm that type of person, like I like to learn something so I can recite it for real, for real. And so that's kind of like, you know, where I'm at for what shit right now. And, you know, one thing I want to kind of like address to everybody, because I know everybody's at different levels, you know, with their spiritual life, getting in tune with themselves, you know, and just identifying their purpose and walking in their God body, walking in their goddess body, you know, walking as your higher self, like doing that for yourself. One thing I'm gonna definitely say and that, that I've noticed, can I adjust, oh, I can adjust this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't even know that. But let me take a seat as I talk about this, hold on. So, as I was stating, man, you know, one thing I want to kind of just touch on and just kind of get to everybody is that you have to come to a place of self-love. Um, truthfully, for you to like really manifest whoa, whoa, a lot of whoa. things. Hold on, what am I doing? I don't know, man. I apologize. I don't even. I don't even know what I'm touching. Like I said, this is new. This is new. You feel me? But. Back to what I was saying, man. Um, you, you really got to come to a place where you have self-love. A lot of people preach self-love, but I'm going to tell you why you need self-love. You need self-love because once you realize that everything is actually you, you know, where everything is one consciousness, nature, animals, people, we're all actually one consciousness. So what does that mean? That means as I'm talking to you right now, you watching this video, I'm really just talking to myself and vice versa. When you talking to your homie, when you talking to your friend, your cousin, your sister, you really just talking to yourself because we all under one consciousness of the world. We're all living entities, spiritual be beings, living a human experience. Now, I ain't going to say that everything out here is spiritual, right? Some some of this shit is is is, is not, not you. you. You feel me? Some of this shit is, you know, created, right? Don't have no souls. You feel what I'm saying? Those are the things you got to stay away from. Those people you got to stay away from. They're not even real people. They don't even have a soul, right? And then there's some people who are soulless walking around in, in, their, in bodies, right? Soulless people walking around their bodies. They sold their soul for money. They sold their soul for power right also people you got to stay away from but at the end of the day majority of the things that we know have souls right they have a living entity inside them so if i'm disrespectful to you i'm just being disrespectful to myself if i'm hating on you i'm just hating on myself and that's why i really understand that when it comes to people showing love or people showing hate i really could care less if you show hate because i realize that you only just hating yourself because we are one. What are you hating your brother for? Why? What are you hating your sister for? Why? What are you hating on a fellow God for? What Why? are you hating on a fellow goddess for? Why? And we are the same thing. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't, you know, give you constructive criticism. I'm going to tell you where I see you going wrong. I'm going to tell you places where I see you could do better because that's just what we do as people. That's, that's what, what we're supposed, supposed to do, do as gods. gods. We're supposed to lift each other up. We're supposed to help each other to remember who we truly are and how we truly lived at one point. You feel what I'm saying? So understand that if you're dealing with hate right now, you're dealing with people that that are envying you, you know, they're jealous of you. Every time you say something, nothing but negativity comes out their mouth. You gotta understand that nine times out of 10, these people don't even have the awareness that you guys are the same people. They don't even have the awareness to know that the more that they hating on you, they really just hating on themselves. The more that they disrespecting you, they disrespecting themselves. Real so really, they have no self-love. So what I do is, you know, I show empathy. You know, I show empathy for the ones that 
don't have love for themselves. You know, I, I show empathy because I understand universal laws of the, of the universe. I understand that we are all one. I understand that we're all under one consciousness, but we're just split into trillions of entities to experience life from different perspectives. So, knowing that, I have nothing but empathy for somebody who can hate on me. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing but empathy for somebody who's not going to show no love for me. Nine times out of ten, they just not even aware huh? of this simple principle. They're not even aware that we the same person. You feel what I'm saying? They're not even aware of that. So, what you should do is educate. Leave with education. You know, don't leave with, let me make this person seem dumb. Let me leave, let me leave with, this is my brother, this is my sister that is just not educated, which I once was, I was, I once wasn't either. I, how can I get mad at you when I wasn't educated too? Your time has come. You feel me? Like, how can I get mad? So, let me educate my brother. Let me educate my sister. Let me, let me give them some type of guidance to follow. Let me give them some type of energy coming out of love towards educating them. You right? Don't try to educate and you coming out of, you know, feeling better than them. Nah, like, come out of a place of love and try to educate. Now, if they're receptive to the information, beautiful, right? Share it. Give them knowledge that they can look at, look at after you're done talking to them. And then after that, everything from there is on them. You know, like, you can't hold their hand. You can only bring them to the water. You can't force nobody to drink. That's called free will. That's something that we can never cross. That's something that God can't cross. That's something that we can't cross, right? Free will is something that God created as a, as a, as a law, right? If I, I can't, I could want everything for you, but I, I can't, can't force, force you, you to do, do nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I can't manipulate. It's the same thing with, honestly, the government, right? The government, um, the system, you know, people who are in control and power, right, towards, towards the minority. And I don't even like to call it the minority because we not the minority. We actually overpopulate all of the people in the world, right? There's more black people in the world than any other type of people in the world. So, or I should say colored people in the world than any type of people in the world. But the point I'm trying to get at is that even the government, they are legally killing us. I hope y'all understand. They are legally killing us. Why? When you guys see a label, right? Let's say a pack of cigarettes. We all know cigarettes ain't good for you. On the cigarette box, if that, if that cigarette box was to say, smoke this, this is going to help your life, that would be considered murder. Why? Because they're completely lying to you. They know that shit is some bullshit that they're feeding you or that they're giving to you to consume, and they're telling you that it's good. They're telling you it's good, but it's really bullshit. So that's why they have labels, to help you to know what's in it and what you're getting yourself into. So when they put that, oh, feed you this or drink this or smoke this is going to be good for you when it's really not that's called murder and that's where they know that they're violating a universal code they're violating one of the ancient laws they're violating one of the laws of the universe where they're taking away your free will right however though if they simply just throw it in your face with some beautiful ads with some with some beautiful wording with you know uh, your favorite celebrity promoting it your favorite alcohol your favorite whatever and they put this contains nicotine this contains x y and z this contains you know drugs whatever whatever it is very harmful to your body but you should still have it now that's called free will now you understand the consequences of what you're doing and out of your free will you're still choosing to do it so now that's called suicide so when you see people who die of pills, die of certain drugs, they, they overdose, they call it a suicide, right? They label it as a suicide. But in reality, the government is what promoted them to have it. The government is what promoted them to actually drink it, right? But they told you what's going to be happening if you continue to do this. They tell you the side effects. They tell you the effects of this. Everything has a divine uh, effect when there's a cause. Right? Everything has a natural effect when you put action towards it. 
right? So whatever you do has a natural effect, naturally, right? So whether that's good or bad, right? If you wake up today, right, you woke up, you meditated, you brushed your teeth, took a shower, read a book, got you some sun, and then clicked on this video, you just did something, you did a, a few actions, actions that, that have, have a potential, potential natural, natural cause, cause, right? You learn, you coming on here, hopping on this video, you deciding that you want to learn new information, and then this information's effect may be information that's going to help better your life and even your children's life. You may be able to teach this to your family, your children, so on. But if you're somebody that just woke up, didn't even brush your teeth, you ain't getting to get you no sun, and you, you ain't even on this video, that, that effect may be that you missed out on information that could have helped you. Now you might go about your day, somebody might hate on your J's, and now you might get might, might get might get mad, you might get in a fight and shit, but all because you never hopped on this video to learn something. You know, you never got on a righteous path. You never got into your purpose, you feel me? So everything has a divine cause and effect. So I say that to say, man, free will. You know, free will, that's something that, you know, you can't manipulate someone's free will. You know, I can't force nobody to do nothing. I can't force you to do nothing. I could want something better for you. I could hope that you change by giving you the right information to do so. But change is up to you. You only gonna change because you wanna change. You're not gonna change because I tell you to change. So when I tell people like, yo, they changed their life, they, they tell me, yo, I'm thankful for you, bro. You helped me change my life. I say, yo, I was just a messenger, bro. You, you changed, changed your, your life. life. I was just a motivation. I was just an inspiration. I was just an example. Because I changed my life or I did things for me that upgraded myself. But you did it for yourself. So give yourself props. You feel what I'm saying? Show yourself that love. Right? Give yourself that praise. Look at yourself in the mirror and idolize you because you made that shit happen. Right? All those long nights where I was, you know, going through my personal stuff, you know, shadow work, um, crying, you know, asking God for help, you know, praying that Everything that I'm doing is going to be having a divine right cause, I mean, right effect to the cause that I was putting it as, you know, like doing things with absolute intention. I'm not surprised of where I am today and I'm not surprised for who I am, who I'm going to be and where I'm going. You know, I've already seen what this lifestyle, what this life path is going to take me. And I'm just excited to just be on the journey, experience the life in between. You know, there's so many things that. I'm looking to just continue to grow in, you know, I'm still not a perfect individual, but understand I'm on the perfect path of life to reaching all the things that I need to attain, you know? So I just want to tell y'all that at the end of the day, getting back to my original point was, you know, number one, free will, you know, don't ever try to force nothing on nobody, but also understand that once you educate somebody with something or once you get educated with something, you now have the free will to choose for your life or where you want to go. If you didn't know, you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I can't get mad at you for not knowing, but I can get mad when you know and you still choose to do wrong. So with this information that you know, it's all up to you, man. You you are the divine individual that is in divine control of your own reality. So whatever reality you see fits your life, go ahead and create that. You know, but I'm creating my reality. I know the things that I want, and that's why I choose to live my life how I do. And I'm nothing but happy and blessed because all it does is give me more happy and blessings towards my life to help me become more peaceful, right? Just to help me become more peaceful. So, with that being said, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed this first video. You know, this is my little sanctuary where I just come to chill. You know, find yourself your sanctuary. You know, find yourself your, your place where you just like to get, get, a, get away and relax and uh, be healthy, you know, be healthy, like a healthy sanctuary. Like don't, don't rely on drugs. Drugs is not a healthy sanctuary. So find your healthy sanctuary, you know, get to your peace, get to your happiness and understand who you truly are. Understand that you are God. You are God if you're watching me. So with that being said, Make sure y'all take care of yourselves, because the more y'all take care of yourselves, y'all really taking care of me, because we are one. With that being said, I'm going to see y'all from the top, or at the top, only time we ever look down is to help bring y'all up, and y'all know where to find me if you're looking for me. You can find me at the beach, or you can find me at the bank. Let's get it.